Time for this evening's Health Watch. Forget about the false negative coronavirus test results. Local 5's Connie Fellman shows us the making of a more accurate COVID-19 antibody test. A rush to get COVID-19 antibody tests out may have set us back in our efforts. Too many false positives early on made it difficult to accurately detect the virus. Now many universities and labs across the country are working to change that. Test after test after test is failing to accurately test for COVID-19 antibodies. The problem? The need for fast, accurate, and available tests. When it comes to our immune system's ability to fight things long term, the antibodies are key. An antibody is a protein in the immune system that fights infection. They're also key for us to know whether you've had the infection, which is where I've stepped into the process. To create an accurate antibody test, you have to create a protein that antibodies will be attracted to. So the researchers grew something called a spike protein. Well, one of the things that makes it special is that we're testing for two different proteins on the virus. When a patient's blood is drawn, it's tested to measure antibodies and antigens. If the test is positive, the color of the sample changes. Results are available within two hours and, most importantly, have a 99.6% accuracy rate. We want to make sure that people who are concerned about maybe having had the virus or are very curious have access to a test that will give them likely a very accurate result. The information they get from this test may also help determine how long the antibodies will last. It does seem to be relative to how strong your disease was. If you're hospitalized, you're on ICU, you're probably going to come out with antibodies. Experts believe the answer will be antibodies against COVID will last months, not years. The new test is supply chain independent. The proteins used for testing are made in the lab on campus and the blood is tested on campus so they don't have to compete with other countries or states to get supplies. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Feldman, Local 5 News.